Hello, everyone. <laughs> Here are hilarious idiots at work. Watch them till the end, and you won't regret it. But remember, this isn't just entertainment, it's a lesson. Think twice, because some choices are just not worth it. Let's get it on. When putting out a fire, the important thing is to start together. Then it's every man for himself. A good example of an impulse purchase. <laughs> Seems like the seat was made exactly for that laptop. But we've got bad news for perfectionists. I'd love to see these geniuses handle the off-road. Two will remember now that he who laughs lost laughs best. When the boss walks into the office and you want to look busy, Was he trying to tow the guy to the next town or something? Crazy how people have no situational awareness. Maybe it's better not to ask than where they've been. He has no idea he's about to feel a deep disappointment right now. Wow, he has a pickup truck now. Fine, by the way. Then he's fine. I'm literally gonna have to cut my hair because I used the wrong. This is how it happens when you decide to try a beauty hack from TikTok. Chose the wrong comb and. This guy, of course, is a real professional. Opening the can with the keys is no easy task, but it seems that he still forgot something. He was so proud of his shelves until he looked in the dining room. It seems that some people know how to predict the future. How else could you explain the fact that two warehouse workers disappeared right before this epic fail? Unfortunately, they were all okay. The moment when you really want to stand out. And it works, at least the bride seems to be happy with everything, or she just hides the pain behind a smile. Golf is such an elegant sport, 
They said all those iron polo shirts, snow white shorts, yeah. I know they're old, but seriously, do they not see they're going the wrong way? Then he's fine. Are you kidding me? While the poor fellow is trying to recover from his fail, don't forget to like this video. We promise it works like a talisman against nasty pranks. then he's fine. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> She's fine, by the way. So nobody's gonna talk about how strong your core has to be to climb back in the stands like that? After being stung in the lips twice by Yellow Jackets, this guy decided to make light of the situation. Well, here's an easy tip. Just have two wash sting ya. Boom, boom. Right in the lips. And then kapow! Kim Kardashian and them be looking at you for lips for days. Can't handle all this. Mm. Totally free. You know how much I spent on this? Nothing. Went to chase some car keys. Pow! Pow! Mm. Two Yellow Jacket stings in the lip later and boom. Mmm, who doesn't want some of that? Mmm, sad face, mm. duck lips, mmm, on fleek. This is what happens when you wear the shoulder belt portion of the webbing behind your back. I am stuck in this car. Look at all the fat in the back. Luckily, no one was hurt. Luckily, no one was hurt. Definitely do not try this. And he's fine. Okay, Deborah, come on. <laughs> All right. Okay, we there we go. Woo oh, wow. Oh. Some moments that you should avoid to not be regretted later. When you want to do a trust fall for a team building exercise, but she doesn't listen to the instructions properly. then he's fine. This man tried to dance while paddleboarding, but let's see what happens next. <laughs> Someone is definitely regretting that she's fine, by the way. Go ahead. Yeah.
lesson learned. <laughs>
then he's fine. First mistake was trying to get that truck to go up that muddy hill. It was all downhill from there. We all know I'm talking a lot about safe distance today, right? Hmm, apparently a lot of people still need to highly re-note that keyword. Aren't these two parts supposed to go together? Hmm, I guess not today. When they say height limit, does the driver know it also means not to carry bulky stuff too? Either you find another path to drive the truck to, or find another way to move those logs up. Because this is not going to work that easy. One was lucky enough to not go down, and one is lucky enough to stop in time. Can you imagine how quick thinking these drivers made? Who do you think was in the wrong here? I mean, safe distance is a must-do kind of thing when you're on the road. Remember to check the brake before you get out too. And check the path that you'd go into too. It might not be strong enough for big vehicles. We all have a bad day at least once or more, but these people really took it to a whole new level. The rocky path isn't going to be any easier than others. I'm impressed that the driver could drive it out safely. Actually, you're supposed to cool off the road, not clean off everything on it. Welcome to an expensive cost after a truck fails. Super expensive. Everyone can see it won't pass, but he still wants to go in. Now he's regretting it. I know it's not the snowy season anymore, but this is still the nightmare of every big vehicle's driver, right? But the snow is soft, so everyone's still fine. Well, driving a big truck means you need a much bigger safe distance. You know that, right? Another snowy path, and some drivers couldn't control their car. Is there any way that can stop these from happening? We never know why that car is going backwards. All we know is that they were so lucky the truck was moving really slow. Being tall isn't easy, but this isn't the solution, guys. Let's just hit the subscribe button instead of doing something like this. Why were they backing up? Aren't they supposed to check before that? That muddy road could cause a lot more problems than just couldn't keep moving like that. Choose another path instead, please. We want to know what led that truck into that situation. And learn to never do that. Drivers, please drive for yourself, for your family, for everyone's sake. Please drive slowly for safety. got to look out your mirrors more than once a day, sir. I guess this is when your Google Maps shows that you're in a wrong lane. But you know, you're not allowed to do this on the road. Everything looks so normal at first, right? Well, not for too long. They even carry more lumber than the bridge has right now. It doesn't look like you should go on. Let's hear your idea how those wheels just simply slip out of the truck like that. In the comment section, of course. Unbelievable. 
That should cost him his license, job, and more than just those wheels. Why did he do that? Some people just had a really bad day and hope everyone was okay after that. Check your vehicle's brake was never needed more at this moment. That was an oil truck too. Well, their vehicle can pass that height of water, but definitely not going to pass the soft sand areas. You see, muddy road problems. Lucky that no one was in the truck at that moment. Well, we already know that they won't pass these kinds of areas, right? The driver had a really bad day, but we should feel happy because there was no serious damage, don't you think? These vehicles' brakes are not going to get that fast to stop, so that's why safe distance should be the most important lesson of these drivers. Well, we can say they are lucky. The damage wasn't so bad. Clearly don't know how heavy a loaded concrete truck is to even have them attempt to go up that path. Come on, baby! <laughs> the uncle helped to move furniture. ended up giving them more work to do. When they said something about riding a bike gone wrong, I definitely didn't think about this. What does that happen, bro? Click subscribe to see if your day or theirs are better. <laughs> you alright? She was alright, but before you can keep balance, maybe find a more stable place to do yoga. <laughs> She's fine, by the way. Fine, by the way. I can honestly say that everyone played their part. The officers, the speeding car, and the people who tapped it. <laughs> Great job, right? Oh! Oh! Then he's fine. She was lucky her friends were there and pulled her up. Anyone still thinking about drinking on a boat? I'm not coming in after you. You're gonna fall in. Don't, don't do that. Don't. I guess no more VR rides are on the wish list from now on. Girls didn't plan this out very well. <laughs> She's okay, don't worry.
I'm trying to see if they can be the most happy man on the planet. <laughs> He's okay, don't worry. <laughs> this guy weeing on his chair while rehearsing a song with friends. But that wee looking too far, I guess. The shoplifter walked out right into waiting police. Isn't our day always better to see some instant karma like this? Isn't that the perfect tan line so far? <laughs> he grabbed and talked to that cat like it was a naughty kid. I didn't understand the language, yet I understood everything. <laughs> what do you think about this? But I bet he's surely had a lesson in life. <laughs> 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 Experience and learn from others' mistakes. Because, of course, you will regret it if something like this happened. Someone is definitely regretting. I bet she'll regret her decision. If you intend to move on ice, let's consider its thickness. Make sure you won't try any of these following actions, okay? Yes! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> he is fine, by the way. <laughs> Some moments that you should avoid to not be regretted later. And that's a wrap. We hope you had a good laugh at some of the most head-scratching moves ever witnessed in an office setting. If you value your job and your sanity, remember to always make wise choices and steer clear of the chaos you've just witnessed. Also, if you're on your phone, scroll down to see our other videos. If you're on a PC, look on the right of the screen. See ya.